Pisces, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for November 30th through December 6th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Pisces. <clears throat> All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the seven of pentacles here. You're working on something, you're focusing on possibly more your work these days. There's something very grounded overall to the reading. Um, or trying to get things grounded, trying to get things more into the practical, you know, here. Um, in the recent past, you get the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups. Maybe that's why. Something was very good, emotionally speaking. Something looked very happy here, but it was hard to handle at some point. It became very difficult. As beautiful as it was, it became very difficult and very... It almost felt like whatever happened here with this energy that turned, um, it kind of dragged you down. It kind of, like they say, took the life out of you here, you know. Um, in the current situation, you get the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Temperance card. I believe you're being challenged to open up more to your emotions. The universe is kind of pushing you into that direction of you need to open up. You need to start feeling. You need to be in the feelings rather than anything else. Um, and you're kind of trying to avoid that. I feel I feel like you know what the challenge is here, but you're kind of trying to avoid it here. In the immediate future, you get the moon, the queen of swords, the three of wands. Yeah, not not really wanting to go deep into feelings here, trying to avoid that at all costs. You're keeping very, very logical about things, very practical, very, it has to be this way and that way and that way. Um, it almost feels like you're being pulled at, you're being uh, challenged to face your emotions, to open up to your emotions, and you just don't want to do it. Maybe it's not the time for you. I don't know. Uh, but let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> the World, the Three of Wands, the Page of Wands. And see, inside of you, uh, there's also that conflict of, I don't really want to be like this. I don't want to be practical. I don't want to be... I want to be through emotions. I want to feel my way through things. Um, there's a need, a call within you um, to something that makes your heart beat, you know, makes your heart skip a beat or something that's very that feels very passionate. Because I feel like this whole idea of doing things by the book or uh, they say you got to do this so you do it and all of that instead of accessing your emotions and see how it truly feels for you. Um, I feel like you're pretty tired of that. But you keep on doing it though. It's kind of like, a, again, it comes in like a challenge from the universe, uh, pushing your buttons, trying to force you in that direction of opening. And subconsciously, you may be like, well, if somebody's going to force me to do something, I'm not going to do it. You know, so you keep on doing what you know, uh, which is practicality here. Um... But you have the need, you have the desire to find something that, you know, makes you feel things. Let's see, uh, let's see this Ten of Cups in the recent past. The Two of Cups, the Justice card, the Nine of Swords. All right. Yeah, things were beautiful here in a situation until it weren't. Until something happened that made you hurt a lot. It's like the the... Typical kind of thing, right? The most beautiful thing that can happen uh, to you is happening and then, bam, it's being taken away. 
or this is how we look at it and then we get hurt um and then we close off to love let me see the um ten of wands in the recent past the hangman the ten of swords the seven of cups it's, uh, it's like somebody's showing me a movie of a of a couple breaking up and then what's happening after pretty much this is how i'm seeing this it's like what followed was you shutting down completely not really looking for anything anyone ever again or being in that set mind of i'm never gonna know no to love period you know kind of thing um because i see stagnation i see options out there but you not looking um because you felt like no that's it love is done in my life so let's go to the current situation. Let's see the Knight of Cups. And I can see now why you're being challenged to open up to feeling. Because uh, you shut that down a while ago. And it doesn't mean towards a specific person. Just open up to feeling anything. We live, we're put on this earth to experiment all of our senses, right? Um, and we forget that we have hearing smell touch all of that but you have to to open up your heart to feel all of those right so i feel like there's a need of that for you right now yeah for the knight of cups you get the queen of pentacles the seven of pentacles the nine of wands yeah it's very difficult i see you starting this process of self of opening up of looking into you and only you um you started to work on that it's a difficult process though um it's not an easy one i do see progress i do see progress here what the hell am i doing hold on hold on give me a second here because uh, i don't know what the hell happened the, the deck split into millions of pieces here and no, I will not take any cards when that happens because it's a mess. So, uh, let's see the Seven of Swords here in the current situation. The Seven of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. You're still fighting to bring something together. You're still trying to... You're trying to put something in that place of stability and uh, having that s feeling of being secure in a situation possibly with somebody here. And it's like, it's hard for you to release control to be like, you need to know pretty much, you know? Um, and that's the, the hard part here because you don't know, you know, especially if it's tied up to somebody else. You can't control what's going to happen, what they're going to say, what they're going to feel, what they're going to... This, that, and the other. And I see a, a really hard time here for you to let go of control. Because you want to know. Let me clarify the temperance card. There's communication here. There's something where you're trying to put something in that stable place. For the Temperance, you get the Two of Wands, the High Priestess, the Tower. Yeah, you gotta let it all fall. You gotta let it all happen. You gotta release control. That's what this is about. Um, you gotta trust. And that can only happen if you listen to your intuition. I feel like it is gonna happen. Um, I almost see you having like these little sparks of, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm letting you go and then you're back to your old self or you're like but i need to know you know kind of thing um it's a process you're going through it. it's pretty extreme from what i can see but when you get to that aha moment i do see you releasing control and then everything falls which should actually happen um but you want to put it back up like a puzzle you know So, uh, trusting what's going to happen, I know, tough task, but let me clarify the moon. Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Yeah, yeah, you're going in that direction, though, of trusting the unknown, right? Um, releasing this control is a very tough lesson for you at this point. 
uh, struggle. You are heading in that direction of trusting what's going to happen. Uh, the more you put this work onto yourself and the more you're secure onto you. Because everything else around you, you can't control. Not even you, but yeah, you like to think that. Um, but that sense of ownership of being like, it's just me, my actions, my doing that I can have a say on. That's going to help you trust everything else. But it's going to happen for a reason. Uh, for the Queen of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Uh, there is here a determination of leaving a partnership behind. Now, this could be any kind of partnership. It could be a friendship. It could be... I see all sorts of things happening for you at once. I'm not seeing one particular situation popping up. Um, so I see you going through a process. And when that happens, we... The cards are kind of accessing all aspects of your life, pretty much. So this could be a family dynamic. It's, it, it is something that looks or... I don't know if it feels stable. It looks stable from the outside. Uh, so it could be a friendship, as I said, a family dynamic situation, something. You're ready to put that behind, whatever that is. And go find something that actually feels stable and happy and all of that. Not only looks the part, but feels like it. Uh, let me clarify the three of wands for the immediate future. Uh -huh. Six of Cups, the Sun, the Empress. Yeah, you you are, in your heart, you are waiting for that perfect, happy place with that perfect person and all of that. Um, I think this person is in your life currently. It's more of a, it comes in more of, a, more like an idea of I want to be with this person. I want to share this happiness with this person. And I want somebody that matches me in that department, right? Um so for some of you you could have somebody in your life that fits that description other is just the idea of i just want somebody that's perfect for me and that's gonna make me happy kind of thing you know and i feel like you're dealing with that accepting that if that person is not in your life even if they are maybe they're not in this energy quite yet so it's a matter of acceptance and then waiting for things to to get to that place um it's a struggle but you're doing it you know, let me see what the universe says. Whew. What are you telling yourself here, Pisces? Um, five of Pentacles, the Devil, the Five of Swords. Yeah, if you're in that place of really telling yourself, because this is telling yourself, we all know that we're not alone um, on this earth, on this planet, on this, but we as humans, as you know, this meat body, um, we let the mind take over sometimes. And the mind tells us, you're alone, you're worthless, you're, you, nobody cares about you, you're going to die alone. We kind of do that to ourselves, because that's not true. We're never alone. Uh, but this is something that you're dealing with currently, I see. Um, this whole sense of uh, feeling like everyone is going to abandon you, everyone is going to forget about you, everyone is going to leave you and all of that. It's deceptive. It's coming in as being deceptive here. Because as I said, that's just an illusion, again, that the mind wants to play, that the mind wants to. And if we let it, we're going to spin in this vicious cycle of, oh my God, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. You're not alone. Maybe you're not with the person that your mind, again, is fixated on, but there's people around you. There's always something, someone around you. There's always energy around us. So we're never alone. Um, even in a wall. There's life in there. There's material that went in there. It has energy. Never alone. Uh, but again, I see a little bit of a struggle here. Um, possibly this is why all of this is happening right now for you. We just need to trust. That's all. But... That's what I have for you, Pisces. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.